Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video in this series and in this series we're going to be talking about Linux using RNX Neo Terminal, RNX Linux OS which is based on Debian 11. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So you want to run Burp Suite in your Linux in Android, then if you're using RNX Linux, you cannot just download it using sudo apt install burp suite it's not gonna give anything you you will get error so in order to do that in rnx what are we gonna do is we're gonna just install we're just gonna install zavite first so we're gonna do sudo apt install default dash jdk so what it does is it will just install Java on your machine and as you can see default JDK is already the newest version because I've already installed it so if you don't have Java you can just do it like this sudo apt install default dash JDK and all the commands will be in the description guys you can just go and check it out later after this video so what we're gonna do is now we'll just go to Google Chrome and we're gonna search download burp suite jar so the file we're gonna be using is .jar extension .jar. So you're gonna hit download burp suite jar, and when you're gonna search it, it's gonna give you the first link that's portsweeter.net, and this is the community. This is the website or the group that made burp suite. So we're just gonna click here, and it's community edition. Okay, so we're gonna click download. Then it gives you this option and be careful here it's gonna be stay on community edition we don't want it professional because you know there are a lot of things but you gotta pay for that so we're just gonna go with the free version community edition and instead of Linux 64 bit we're gonna go with jar so we just click download and done then you can just hit OK and it will start to download details it's downloading so after it's downloaded since I already have it after it's downloaded you gotta come back to terminal and just gonna do just gonna go to the directory that has the downloaded jar burp suite application okay the file so in my case it's right over here on my main directory let me just clear this screen and do ls it's just right over here burpsuit.jar as you can see it's right over here but it might be in your like downloads it might be here for some of you and if you're using this rnx machine and you download it on your external device you cannot access it like in this manner you're not gonna find it so if you just downloaded the app the file on your external device external SD card then what you gotta do is you just gotta do CD forward slash a w n t o and that's the name like the creator the website and slash and shared as you can see this is the file path and you're gonna do, gonna do stories my bad storage slash and so this is the location that has external SD card okay so if you're just just gonna do this oh sorry I just did sudo I'm not sure why I did that so awntu I'm just gonna do this for now and if you're gonna do this then you cannot go inside it says permission denied because that that location is not accessible for us okay so in order to do that you gotta know the name of your SD card so in my case what I gotta do is I gotta do this this is the name of my SD card AA9E dash AA95 so how are you gonna know that because it's different for each and every people so in order to find it you, you just gotta go to your Z archiver and as you can see the zero over here just click it so just, just click here click here and go to SD card and as you can see right over here in SD card it says storage slash AA9E dash AA95 so that's the location that's the name of our SD card so we're just gonna do the same thing over here CD slash AWNT slash shared slash storage slash AA9E dash AA95 slash 
and you're just gonna hit enter and you're inside of inside the external SD card LS and it shows all things and you can just go to downloads if it's there LS and burp suit entire boom and you what you can just do is like copy burp suite to jar to dollar home or just like a full stop okay you're just gonna hit enter and it's gonna get copied to your main like home directory so after you have burp suit.jar here what we do is open vnc server we do vnc server and we head over to our vnc viewer just connect it uh let me just set up it real quick o2 save connect okay password connect continue and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come over here to terminal and right over here what are we gonna do is we're just gonna type uh, Java as I told you Java dash jar burpsy dot jar we're just gonna hit enter and it's gonna get open your burps is gonna open on the GUI so this is your burp suite so this is delete all temporary files I'm just gonna delete it and this is burp suite just said uh, I'm just gonna close it for now so this is a burp suite it comes like this temporary project and you're just gonna hit next oh, let me just rotate it real quick so this is a burp suite we're gonna hit use burp defaults start burp you're just gonna wait for some time and your burp suit's gonna run and you can use your burp suit to intercept and capture proxy and do all sort of things in your Linux on your phone so that's it for today guys as you can see it's totally running up and running and that's it for today's video and um, I just showed you how to install burp suit and I hope it helps and this, please leave a like if it helped, if you understand. If you have any questions, if you didn't understand anything, you can just leave a question on the comment or just join our Telegram group. And you can just text me there and I'll help you with anything needed. And by saying this much, this much for the video and see you in the next video. Peace out.